Okay. Are we on? All right. So, it's so hot in here. Okay, let me see if I can um, make this bigger so I can see what we're doing. All right. So, today is the Lion Gate. It's 8 o'clock, and I hope you're going to join me to um, go through a meditation. What I want to do today is very exciting. Yesterday, I had a visit by my ancestors. Um, always have something with my ancestors. <laughs> I, I learned to love it. It's the most amazing way um, to connect to who you are and to exchange healing and information with heaven and with people you know. If you come here, please let me know you come because I hope it's working. I don't know if it's working for sure. Okay, so what does it mean, the Lion Gate, uh, on the 8th of August? We have more knowledge about that every year. Um, this is, uh, it's kind of a powerful portal where the planet Sirius, who's twice as big as our sun and 26 times more powerful of light, is exactly directly above Earth. And the ancient commissions, the ancient Egyptians, uh, always worked with that energy and believed that we all come from Sirius, the planet. So I'm not going to go galactic on you. What I want for us today is that we will manifest abundance in any form that you need it and that we are going to release um, um, what was the word? What did I say the word was? Suppression. Suppression. So this is the gift of today. Uh, so at, at 8 o'clock in 8 minutes, of course, we will feel woo hoo hoo 888. But if you hear and you watch me, because I don't know if it's working, please let me know. And please type one word that you think I am, you know, not one word. It can be as long as you want. Uh, what am I willing to receive? If you can just write, what are you willing to receive for yourself, for your body, for your mind, for your family, for our world? We are going to start to have a process to take care of you because you are the beginning of everything. And from there, we will expand ourselves to the world and we send that energy and that powerful blessings to the world. So anybody here? I don't see any comments. Oh, my God. I hope it's working. Anyway, I'm very excited because uh, I also um, asked uh, our goddess Isis to uh, to help us, and I'm kind of blown away from the answer that I got. Um, so give me a sign that you're there. What are you willing to receive? Just put it in the comments so we can start to activate what we need and what we want. So if you ever did something with me, you know I can accidentally go very deep. <laughs> <laughs> and create big transformations but it's all good because you are the commander of your own consciousness and the intention we have here today is that you will get the connection to your own ancestors your own spirit guides and in this energy that connecting us straight into our light home of our souls we are going to bring what you need so nobody's here oh my god maybe i don't see it on this setup yeah all right so uh let me see if i can see it maybe on the if i go on the side um all right i don't know how to do that all right so i'll have to imagine that you are seeing me and you understand what i'm doing and what you are doing okay so we'll take uh, one big breath. So I, I will just explain the way that I work is with what I call the four voices, which is the medicine wheel of understanding your own season of life and your own season of the elements and your own seasons of the four directions. Um, it brings all of who you are to the front. It's all about the center point between the two sides, your own inner queen and your own inner king. And it brings us from our north and our south and our, our extrovert and our 
introvert, back to middle, our feminine side, masculine side, intuitive side, um, rational side, all of ourselves. And we also work, and also today we're gonna go through the seasons, which mean we will uh, talk a little bit just to understand what we are doing. Then we are going to activate our body. Then we are going to um, touch on the heart. I'm not gonna do a whole healing there. Hey, thank you, I see comments. Thank you, great, great, great. Please, are willing to receive my power? Yes, yes. And in this time, we need you to own your power. And I know a lot of beautiful empaths, a lot of beautiful hearted people, they are very modest with taking their space and their heart and their, and their power, inner power. And that's, that's something that needs to change because if you don't do that, forces that are much lower frequencies will take those spaces. And as you can see, our world is in the middle of two forces of fear and love, fear and love. So when you are going to your center, which we're gonna to do today, and you're going to manifest and activate, you are receiving your own manifestation, which you will decide what it is. And release the suppression program that you have. You know, we're not talking about correcting the world out there. It starts with you. Uh, you will start to have more owning of your own power and your inner power. And with that, you are contributing to what's happening in the collective. So there's a lot to do in the world, but it starts with you. It starts with you owning yourself, owning who you are, uh, allowing yourself to bring more light. Uh, yes. Uh, so we are in the Lion Gates guided meditations. We are putting the intention that our intention is to release suppression and to open to uh, our own unique request for manifesting abundance um, and that is all I want to say about the mental part I'm not going to talk a lot about the energy of today there are other teachers and astrologers who are doing it much better verbally than me I would like to bring us to transformation so we'll start with the body with the body we want to take one big breath so we take it really deep all the way to your belly so you want to fill up your whole body. This is another thing that beautiful women, artists, empaths, light workers sometimes don't do, taking their space also with breath. Because taking space and taking breath is not costing anybody anything. The opposite, you let spirit come into embodiment and that is good for your health and it's good for all of us. So we take one big breath. And allow you to enjoy your hands, your vibration, and even to exaggerate if you can feel free wherever you are, if you're at home or outside, just take this breath with your hands and exaggerate because playfulness is the highest frequency and we want to raise our own. So we take one more breath, second one. Good, shake it all up. And the last breath, we're doing things in threes. One last breath. And release. Good. And I would like you to activate your hand. We cannot do a whole workshop over here with the body, but we can do our breath and we can do our hands. Uh, even though it's very hot. So we just activate our hands and put it on your lungs and your chest. And from this point, immediately I'm going to go into the voice of the of the heart, which will be the third voice we are uh, inviting here. And there is a little bit of feeling of pressure and grief that is from the collective and from our own. Um, so we just want to clear that up. So we're going to do that with, it's not only grief, it's also, um, regret, feeling um, of missing out, feeling of powerlessness and blaming ourselves for being powerless. So 
let's not go into the details. We just know that there is a little bit heavy energy we want to clean. What I would like you to do for that is um, to take another breath. But I want you to put your hands together and to put it on your heart. And focus for a second on your solar plexus. This is the place where we're holding uh, low vibration emotion. And we can get stuck with that. And we want a little bit to really. So we'll do a, li a little, uh, also three times. Very simple. Take one big breath into your solar plexus from the back. From the back of your solar plexus. So here. Visualize that here. And we take one big breath. And take another in-breath and bring it to the heart. Bring your breath into your crown here. And from the above your crown, we release. Okay, so I was not very clear, so I'll say it again. We'll do it now, right? We'll take one breath from the back of your solar plexus into the heart in from the crown and they will release it from the top of the crown yes so we inhale three times so we, let's do it together we put our hands together so we reunite in masculine and feminine we're touching our heart in order to work from our most powerful center we take one big breath we take breath in two from the heart third from the crown and then release it from the top of your head to the heaven. You try to take these lower vibrations and to allow it to come out into our universe, going through the heart. We do one more time. Breath in, to the heart, through the crown. Imagine it above your head and release. I think we got it, right? So we do one more time. And release. Okay, I would like to do more, but I would like to continue. All right, so I would like you to think and to type if you can, so we can see that. Uh, in which area of your life you need more abundance? And it can be health, so optimized health. It can be love, the expansion of loving relationships. It can be money, no guilt, material things. It's very important. So if you if you would like to to activate your finances or your health or your money, then when we do the meditation, put both of your legs on the floor. If you would like to activate something more on the higher chakra, then you can put your legs crossing the way you want. Uh, it can be um, anything where you can have more abundance, financial abundance, my life, that's wonderful. Also recognition. Okay, also no guilt, no guilt. Because when you can bring into yourself more of goodness, and you own more of your power, you're helping all of us push away low vibration on this planet. You know, the light needs your body to embody. It's very important. So no guilt. We're going to clean that now and just invite what it is that you need. More love, more health, more material things, more freedom more expansion of your talents, more expansion of your understanding, more clarity. Write it down. When you write it down, you're literally half, half there, halfway there. Take one more second. I can hear some of you say, I want all of them. <laughs> That's also possible. But then you have to really release to make more space for more to come yes all right so we have one the things that we would like to to manifest now i would like you to see it now when you close your eyes as a ball of color your ball and your color is really specific to what you see right now 
So we're just doing that so our subconscious mind can get that stuff uh, on all vibrations, not only mentally understanding it. Yeah, so if you say the desired things that I would like, if you don't want to write what is it that you want, you can write what kind of color ball you have. So you can say I have a, I have a orange with, with glitter, I have, I have a little tiny tennis ball or ping pong ball that is whatever. Which kind of ball, which kind of color? Yes? All right. So, so everything about the suppression that we would want to release, which is the most important work, we cannot bring anything in before we clear up, uh, we will do in our meditation. Yes? So I would like to show you an image of, of and I didn't choose that. That was given to us. Uh, of the energies that is coming in. I was shocked when I saw this because it is about abundance of sorties, which is, which is the star where we're going to. And on the heart of the matter, we got soul retrieval, and that's the deep soul healing with the goddess. Funny enough, soul retrieval is one of my specialties. So this is the offer that we get right now. So let's go into the meditation, uh, cross the, the, the portal and um, bring in what we need. So if you know me, I don't know what are we going to do. When we go in, I will know where we're going. And we will just follow uh, the energy that is all in unconditional love. It's all protected by the highest light. And I already set all the archangels to protect our space and protect all of this energy that we are all can work in goodness and in wellness and in joy. Yes, let me just look a second into our, our wonderful health, power, financial abundance, so important. Okay. I'm going to I, I'm going to use this rattle instead of the shamanic drum because I would like to keep it quiet. Uh, but that will give us everything we need. So I hear. Right, are you ready? So if you're comfortable to sit down with your legs into the floor so you can totally bring the energy total into the earth so you can manifest what we want. Or you can lie down or you can sit with crossed legs and bring the energy to your soul. And let's take one big breath. <sighs> Knowing that we are ready to receive, we are ready to release, and we are ready to learn, we are ready to experience, we are ready to receive the love and allow ourselves to receive more love and to activate our way of receiving. So. Feel your body your physical body in the space you're in. Feel what is in the back of you. If you're in a room, sense where the door, where the window. Sense what's on your left. Sense what's above you. Ay, ay, ay. Sense what's on the right of you. Sense what's in front of you. And sense what's under you. And see in front of your eyes a golden ball 
golden ball that is like liquid. When you look at it and it looks at you, it's a ball full of consciousness, of unconditional love. And take one big breath. And every breath that we take will now expand the ball to become bigger. One. Two. Three. And allow it to grow into a size that is bigger than your own body. And allow yourself to step into the golden ball where you're immediately feeling refreshed, very clear-minded, very open-hearted, very anchored in your feet. And that your whole surrounding is ready to service this journey. Get yourself comfortable. You can start to feel that you become light. You will become lighter in the mouth. You can lie, you can fly, you can sit, you can stand. It's all fluid. Now it is commanded that we will go up and we are ready to shoot like an elevator all the way up outside of the earth atmosphere and we're gone further going above to the above world going in one clear direction from here into the direction of our star. And you feel that from the four direction of our ball, we get assistance for this fast highway of speedy light to shoot up straight into our visiting star. And that our soul, your higher self, is guiding the way for us to travel. You start to feel that the atmosphere and the heat in the bu but, but bubble, the, bu <laughs> the ball, is starting to change. <sighs> and we're shooting up and we go into the above world to the second world, we are passing through to the third world, fourth world, fifth world, sixth world. Start to slow down into the seventh world. And in this place, you can feel the stillness, you can feel your body relaxes, you can sense lightness and liquid white light, and on command, a door will open and guide you into a magnificent celestial garden and you come out and you're floating 
into that garden. You can look around. You feel safe and inspired. And you feel a presence of your guides with you. One on your right shoulder, another one on your left shoulder wanting to show you the way. And on a distance you can see a magnificent gate that is made of light. You can see it from far and it's shimmering in the light. This kaleidoscope of rainbow colors and you bring yourself there and you just look at the details of the landscape of where you are look around to see what is it that you love about it. And what about this gateway that makes you feel loved? Maybe there are animals, maybe there are guides. Just notice what comes for you personally. Wow. Okay, so the ancestors want to show themselves. And you see them as a ball of light. You see the essence of their soul. Not always the personality of how they live their life. And you feel that there is preparation behind you. They're standing behind you. And when you will be ready, you will turn around. But first, anchor yourself into your own heart. And notice that there is something in the heart that is now allowed to show itself, something that you don't want anymore. Around your heart, there is something that is need to be seen. And with the support you have from behind and the gate, the portal that you see in front of you, this is the right time some kind of heaviness, of bondage, of chain, of suppression that was just want to show itself to you. And with a loving heart, you allow that to be seen. You say, this thing that suppressed my heart I love you, I forgive you, you are allowed to show yourself. Thank you for your service to me. Allow that to come out and to stand in front of you. And you can see what it is. Maybe it just comes in the form of an object or a color. Just allow that to happen, that you can see that. If you want, you can ask what it means. 
and you just want to show it some. What is it? It suppressed my heart from totally receiving unconditional love, light, and kindness. And that I give back to the heavens. When you're ready, hold it in your hand with forgiveness. When you're ready, you turn to look at the balls of light that are your ancestors. And you can see them standing, two, becoming four, become 16, a hundreds of balls of souls of you from now until the beginning of times. And you say this suppression, this that needs healing, I now give back into the light. You give it to the light and allow your ancestors to enjoy that healing too. And release it into the heavens and let it to be pulled out of your own field and go back to source, as we say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you and thank you. Take a big breath and allow the love of your ancestors to come into your heart and into the back of your heart and allow you to expand your ability to receive in few more spaces in any way that you see that. See that the whole magnetic field around your heart grew to be in a size that includes so much of you. And with that also comes the knowledge for you to know how it feels like to receive unconditional love, light, abundance, and kindness. You put your hands into the front of you while you're still looking at the light bulbs that are your ancestors. and allow their knowledge, their wisdom, their brilliance, and their unconditional love to support you in your life. Let them put in your hands the life that they want to give you and allow your hands to receive all of those balls of light and just practice this receiving from your own ancestors knowledge creativity friendship love money security courage expertise genius experience more unconditional love, more kindness, more abundance, more health. And take these balls of light and put it in your body. And we put it in your body, into the south and the element of earth. Woo! Take it in, you can do it. And put it in your heart, in the west side, in the element of water and put it in your north, in your air element and in your mind. And put it in 
your east, your fire element, in your spirit. And now you know that you are ready. You can turn back, look into the gate, in the lion gate, the one that opens in Leo season, that is totally connected to the planet where we get our blessings from. One station on the way to Creator. And let's check one last time. I feel that there is something more. <sighs> okay. There's something more that needs to go before. You can feel it on the back of your body. Your ancestors still support you on the back, but on your own body, on your own energy body, from your ears, on your shoulders, and all the way down to your buttocks. There is something there that is blocking movement. It's kind of a shield, but a shield that is not serving us anymore. It is your free will to choose if you want to keep that shield that is old protection. It's actually pretty rusty and pretty old. It's literally old technology that we don't need anymore. So the question here, are we want to be free from this? Wow, okay, what I see. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this is part of the gate of the portal of this Lion King that this year particularly is strong. It is really powerful. So the old technology shield that we have is something that we put in the past as uh, uh, tools of safety. And what has been asked of us is to make a leap of faith that instead of having this heavy blocking fence that is, is placed on our system, what is asking of us is to make a leap of faith to let that go and to jump into a sphere, into the next dimension where our protection is in our whole field. And it's been done by the new technology, by the fifth dimension technology. So we are exchanging protection from the old one that was also a bit suppressive. Oh, the word again. And we're moving with safety and with guidance through the gate to let that shield go. And we're jumping into a field that is the new protection that gives us room to move that is flexible it's like it's like in medieval time you know when they used to have a shield from metal and that was the way you were protected but you could not move it's now moving into a light space shoot <laughs> like a futuristic thing that is made out of light and energy and sound. And it is a hundred times more protective. And it's a hundred times more powerful. And it gives us room to move and to dance in it. So this is what the portal is about. Wow, I'm very excited about that. So you have to take your own second. If you want to cross this portal, if you want to move from where you are now into this new time, if you choose not to do that, next year will be again. There are going to come other opportunities. 
but we can also do it now. So for the ones who want to do it now, we are saying yes, I'm ready and willing to move into the next dimension that is guided by the unconditional love and the highest level of light of un, it's called or ensofi ensof the eternal light and only to the eternal light When you're ready, you can feel the light on your face, inviting you to take the steps to come closer into the gate. And when you're ready, in your own time, cross the threshold, accompanied by love and guidance, into the other side of the gate. On the other side, you feel the gratitude for this opportunity. You can see the star shining its light on you. And you feel on the top of your head this wonderful liquid light of gold entering through your crown to bless every cell of your body, of your physical body your emotional body, your mental body, and your spiritual body, and also your celestial body. And allow that to come in and upgrade your brain, your left brain, your right brain. It opens your sights that you can see clearly with connection to the universe and through your third eye into your eyes. And it's upgrading your face, your teeth, your mouth, your ears, the lower part of your brain, your neck, your throat, opening your throat chakra in a way that you've never had before. your shoulders, your upper chest, your heart, your arms, your, your heart in the back of your heart. Let just this light go down to your solar plexus and all of your organs, liver, digestive system, stomach, kidneys, sexual organs, going through the back of your body, the front of your body, your pelvis, your legs, your knees, your feet. You feel that your whole body is in this new information. And we are asking that this process will continue until we are fully transformed in our own time and to our highest best as your higher self see fit you are the commander of your own system everything is being done as you commanded to be you are the power of your own self and you know how to be comfortable with this power and inner power and you know how to bring it into your life 
how to bring it into the way you speak, how to bring it in the way you see things and understand things, that you know how to use your power with your heart, with your decisions, that you know how to use your power for the highest best of you and everyone involved. And this knowledge is being anchored for the next three weeks, I'm hearing. As you see fit, you will decide when it's done and it will be done automatically. When you are ready, you say goodbye to the gate, to the portal, saying goodbye to the star that was smiling at us the whole time, to the ancestors who are proud and happy. And you order the golden ball to come and allow you to come and travel again, activating golden ball travel. And we are comfortable in our place. It is commanded that we will travel back from this beautiful celestial garden into the sixth world, going down back to the third dimension earth, our home, our beloved home in this physical life. Going down to the fifth world, fourth world, third world, second world, first world. Ooh. Landing back into your body. Say thank you to the golden ball that is shrinking into a dot size. Getting into our heart to be expanded to travel any other time you would like to do that. Feel the air in your nose. And then come back to your body, your physical body. If your feet are on the floor, feel them. If they're under you, feel them. Feel the air in your nose. Put your hands together. Before you open your eyes, just stay with your physical body. Woo! Yeah. Say thank you for this physical body. Thank your shoulders, your face, your back, your kidneys every centimeter of your gorgeous, gorgeous physical body. Say thank you to all your ancestors that were there for you and will be there for you anytime you call them to give you any gift that you want, to protect you, to accompany you on your new journey in this new chapter. Thank you, thank you for your guides. Just stay in your physical body. I want you to notice the crown on the top of our head. We say thank you to Archangel Metatron. On your right side, thank you to Archangel Michael. On your left side, to Archangel Gabriella. On the front of you, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On the back of you, Archangel Rafaela, thank you for the healing. And on the bottom of you, under your feet, thank you to Archangel Sandalphon.
Archangel Soldafon, the goddess actually, the Archangel, female Archangel, that is connecting us into the core of the earth. Just feel her activating the chakra that's under your feet to the center of the earth. Thank you, Mother Earth. Please anchor, anchor, anchor. She's taking the call that we sent to her and she's anchoring it to her heart. You are 100% in this existence connected to Mother Earth, the giver of all manifestation. We are willing to receive in a new way with our expansion. Thank you, Mama Gaia. Thank you, Pachamama. And then last. Yeah, feel your face, feel your eyes. When you're ready, open your eyes. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I hope you're still here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Ooh. All right, back to this world. Hey, how are you doing? We crossed the bridge. Oh my God, we did it. The gate. Why did they say bridge? Yeah, oh my God, cross the bridge. Yes, so if you want to bring some things up, just if you remember how the celestial gardens look like and what is the thing that came out of your heart. I suggest that you will go and write it down if you want to keep that memory. I know some of you, if I see from the names here, some of you are very powerful. What you create. Wow. If you can comment. What is the biggest thing you're taking from this? Something you would like to share? I would love to hear. I feel that something amazing happened today. And I want to show you the two cards. Look at the energy of the red and yellows. Solar plexus and earth colors, abundance. Healing with the goddess. Oh my God. Wow, look at the message before under that. Life restored. Thank you so much. Please comment. I would really would like to know where we are. I feel working. Oh yeah, can you see? Okay, that is wonderful. I will just want us to, just the last thing, if you still feel all this energy, bring it through your hands. And imagine the planet, our Earth. We're so grateful for all we got in this energy. Let it come through your hands. We send it to our planet, to all humanity for all people, wherever they are, all animals, all plant life, all trees, all water, rivers, oceans, all this love and light, unconditional love, light and kindness, to bless our earth and its changes, to bless our humanity with their 
shift, with our shift into a higher dimension, bless all the people who suffer at the moment, send them blessing and hope, protection, love, that abundance will come upon every person who wish for it, healing and health to all countries who are suffering, especially places where it is dense. From our heart, we send love to Beirut. We send love to India. We send love to the United States. We send love to all of Europe, to all of Africa, to all of Australia. Blessing all of the native people who are keeping us connected to the earth, keeping us in good relationship with the earth, with their love and their blessing and their knowledge. Bless all of the women who are rising. Bless all of the light workers that are fighting for justice, but sharing their knowledge and putting themselves on the front line for the freedom of humanity, of our consciousness. Bless our families. See all of us full of beautiful golden light. And take this energy and then bring it now toward yourself that we all see the oneness we can receive, we can hold more light to expand this shift, to help more people choose love over fear. <sighs> Heal us and that's it. Can you hear it song? So it is. Can you hear it song? So it is. Can you hear it song? So it is. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You were so magnificent. I could see you. <laughs> all right. For everyone who's watching it out of time, you are all included in that energy. We see you again. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs>